Hi. I'm really quite tired today. It's Sunday. So I thought I finish like with that painting like mixed media thing I did the day before yesterday. I pulled out some very old like oil pastels. These were my dad's. So they're maybe like 40 years old and still look really good. Have a lot of his old art materials, which is something I really love having. I, in general, really like old things. Uh, I think that yesterday was too much. I should have said no in like in beforehand. It was stupid to go. I could feel like even before like we were eating. So like we were uh, still like playing games. It's what what we usually do when my brother is there. And like my brain was just not there. Like if I would have been home, I would have like just gone to sleep for an hour. And I could feel my body like doing what it does when it's like that. It was like shaky and I was so dizzy. So today I'm like... My feet hurt and my legs hurt. I walked there and home, which was stupid, but it was really nice weather, not too hot, which I'm so happy about that it's not almost 30, which is what, which is what it was uh, in June. But I'm still feeling quite bad. So I thought I finished this. I last time or when I started this, I was listening to a new writing podcast, a Swedish one. Led by a Swedish blogger who's quite famous here, and I was going to, or I did, uh, review it for our Instagram. I really enjoy it, enjoy listening to it while painting. I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. I either listen to audiobooks or I want to watch something or I'm resting <laughs> or when I'm painting usually I don't listen to anything I just want I or I thought I wanted like just quiet like I said it was really nice so it really might be something I do in the future. Uh, she was interviewing this Swedish author that I... I was going to say I love her writing, but I, I love one of her books and like the journalistic work she does. Her name is Tone Sjungesson. Uh, and like art for me is like relaxing it, it's turning my brain off and just like looking at something and like how can I transform it into something I like looking at 
it's not like a lot of pressure like if you would art like no I mean with writing and I don't mean that in a bad way but like if I'm writing something and I can't like figure it out it is frustrating and with like art it's not like that because like I'm just having fun and I think if you are a creative person it's important to have like other outlets and I think especially if you're ill like for me I lo love like social stuff and but it's so draining I couldn't find I have this like little little knob of black but it's missing because I had it without the lid on so we have to use the combination of like blue and brown and I finish, finished the new two when I walked to my dad's yesterday uh, a book, let's check out what it's called in English because it was such an amazing book I'm going to talk about it in my next next video I'm thinking uh, it's an author from Senegal which is a country I've never read from before which is like a thing I'm trying to do not just read from Europe and US and UK I want to read new not read for me new countries to get like new experiences from my writing so let's check this out because I'm so going to butcher trying to pronounce his name so I can find the French name of the book I'm not going to try that out it's too many words works dun, 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 dun. Um, is it that I don't know. it must be that see that's my brain today the most secret memory of uh, men and his name is Mohammed Mugar Sar. I will write it in so you can see his name and I will put it in the information box as well. But it was like the most amazing book I've read in a very long time and it's yeah, it was so much more than I thought it would be so yeah a little cliffhanger there I actually have to, <laughs> I don't want to say paintings because in my head that sounds conceited, which it probably isn't, but like to, like artwork sounds even worse. We say paintings then on my wall because I have some like uh, posters 
two from a Swedish uh, watercolor painter whom I love. Uh, but anyway, the one was like acrylic paint. And I did it like quite soon after I moved in, in this apartment. I just wanted to have more stuff on my walls. And I really enjoyed it. It was like, uh, I would say like um, abstract expressionist in my opinion like. And I really enjoy like doing abstract work with acrylic paint. I would like to paint more with oil but I'm like so feel so uncomfortable with like the um, the environment you need to have and like how you need to clean your pencils and stuff anyhow so I have that on my wall and I also have like a watercolor abstract one which was inspired by a poster I saw in the uh, modern museum in Stockholm I love that museum and I I love the poster and but I felt like it felt a bit too expensive for what, what it was considering I think like most of the not all of the earnings go to the museum, not the artist. And so I thought I can actually do this. So I did one, but with like both. I think that artwork was in like red tone, so I did it, it, did it in both red and blue tones. And yeah, I need better frames for it. I need, I have both in one and I really dislike how it looks um, when it comes to that, but that is something I can fix quite easily. I I like the idea of, of actually like thinking fuck it and just having the stuff I've done on my own walls like not feeling like I have to buy real artists and like posters and I hate this trend of just like oh I I have this on my walls because I, I love the the colors and it's like something from those poster stores that you see everyone do commercials for on on YouTube and I just find those types of art so lifeless I don't know maybe it's just like I've gone to a lot of like art shows and I really love it and, and I I love all kinds of artistic expression and, and I feel like doing that is like not valuing it enough I've seen a bit of change now with people doing uh, like 
trying to do art uh, to put on my walls type of videos and that is something I really like people like being brave in, and doing that and not only doing that but doing that for a video I think the youtuber Elbeth did that which I, I really love her and I re recently saw her videos video um, um, like being brave and saying I've had uh, ME CFS for a good few years now um, and and seeing her comment field it looked like most people took it in a really good way, a really understanding way and I hope it just wasn't her or some or her partner like deleting the bad comments but you never know I need more, I think I need a bit more blue acrylic paint on two places where I don't like the uh, oil pastels, so I need to get that out. This is actually a palette knife also, which was my dad's. Also, my hair is just like air drying. I showered earlier. So, once I've done this, I will definitely go rest. Because showering is showering and washing your hair is so exhausting um, you suffer from fatigue I didn't like the blue in some blue oil pastel in some places because it looked a bit too like how do you explain that color a bit too and it had an undertone of like turquoise or like even when you see when a car has leaked oil that kind of blue undertone so I guess I mean like turquoise turquoise grey thinking about it as I said I like do it very much on like feel what feels good what like where I want the color how I want it applied I'm trying to like do it enjoying painting with like a palette knife when it comes to Uh, acrylic because it is so 
um, expressive, like the watercolor is so different <laughs> and it's so much more difficult, but I do enjoy it as well, but I need to be in a good place to do it and especially like hand my tremors need to be <laughs> well.